So this right hand side is weight vector dotted with the change of distance vector. Okay? It's the sum of all the weight, which means I need to consider A and B. Okay? So this has two terms, right? one for A and one for B. Now, so you can consider this change of position as okay, vector in the Z component. Or, if you like, you can keep the, Z, the S direction, okay, which is this, the slope direction, okay, and then just take the component of the weight vector in the S direction. Okay, so look at this right here. I'm going to just use one of them. Okay? So this is my weight vector pointing down, and my my S vector is along the slope direction. So I'm going to just decompose this weight vector in these two directions. Okay, and I call this X. Right? So I call this W X. I can call it W Y if you like. Right. So this being 30, okay, so it seems that this is 30, right, so W X is W sine 30 degrees, okay. So, therefore, this vector, vector weight, okay, dotted with D S, right, this weight vector dotted with the, this S vector is simply the magnitude of this, times the magnitude of this, okay, for each particle. So this is weight of A sine 30 okay, times this distance, okay, delta x A, okay, and then plus, this is the sum, right, of, for B, is the weight of B, okay, so that's A, this is a B, now again this is the weight of B now, right, I'm going to decompose this weight into these two components again, right, okay, WX, however, for B, B travels upward as A travels down, so, this is my S vector now for B, up. So therefore, the dot product, right, as far as particle B is concerned, is this times that, but however they're in the opposite direction, that means it's minus, okay, relationship. You need to, you need to multiply with minus one, okay, since they travel in the opposite direction. Okay. So this is minus weight of B sine 30 degrees times delta x B. Okay? So that's it. This is what the equation turns out to be. Okay. And just keep going. Okay. Left hand side. You have one half and this is mass of A, this is mass of B. Mass of A is weight. Actually, mass is given directly. Okay, mass of A is given. So, I'm going to keep that to this. Right? So, V2 of A squared plus one half mass of B, V2 of B squared equals weight of A is mg sine 30 degrees times delta x a, which is given, 0.5 meters, minus, okay, okay I'm going to take out this minus sign here, so sine 30 degrees times delta x b. Okay, now looking at this equation here, my unknown how many unknowns here do we have? We have velocity of A as an unknown, and velocity of B as the unknown. 
and this is also unknown. The rest is all given. Mass is all given. Right? And then G is constant with this. Now this is given. Okay? And we're interested in VA final. So V2A is the unknown. Which means that this and that has to be found from elsewhere. Well, where do we find it? This and that. Look at this right here. This is dependent motion. Okay? So from dependent motion, there's only one equation. Core length equals constant. Okay? So this should provide you with the uh, um, two more equations that will allow you to, to solve for these two as well. Just from this one equation. Total length equals constant. Okay. And we're going to define, okay, I'm going to move this up here. Okay. So my origin is on the wall. Okay. So, court length okay, is this section is my x a. Okay. And then these three sections here is my x b equals constant. Okay. Now, xA plus 3xB equals constant. So, if I consider delta, the change of this, okay, plus 3 delta xB, okay, change of this variable, plus 3 times change of this variable, right hand side this is the constant, so any change of that is 0. Okay. So therefore, Delta XB okay, equals, okay, move that over. Now, I want to consider just the absolute value, just the magnitude equals and one third of Delta XA. Okay, just the value itself, okay, because I want to know the relationship between the uh, change of distance and how much this has moved, okay, versus how much this B will move. Okay, so this is the relationship. Okay, so B will move a distance equal to one third okay, the distance traveled by A. Okay, so, so this provides me with the first extra equation. The second extra equation will come from here. Okay, take the derivative. Alright, differentiate this equation, so it gives you. VA plus 3 EB equals 0. Therefore, VA equals negative 3 EB. This, so this is my second equation, second extra equation. Right? So bringing these two extra equations into the work energy equation. You will solve the unknown. Okay. Therefore, okay, so continue on with this equation. Okay. So one half m a v two a square plus one half m b v two a b. Okay, I can actually rewrite this as v b equals negative one third of v a. Okay. So VB is negative one third VA right, squared equals right, so the rest just we'll keep it as it is this one delta XA which is given right, and minus MB G sine thirty delta XB is one third of delta XA. Okay, now here, this is the just the magnitude, okay, the change of distance, right? So the only unknown left here is the guy, right? So this is actually two a. So v two the particle a equals 
just plug in numbers and software. Okay. Turns out it's 1.818 meter per second. Okay. Pointing out this way. Okay. So this is the final velocity of particle A at that position. Okay. So we have found velocity of A. 